Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about text field sizes and how important optimizing your text field sizes is in your databases. Today's question comes from Joel from Reno, Nevada, one of my Learning Connection members. Joel says, in one of your earlier beginner lessons, you showed how to set field sizes to reduce the size of the database like reducing the first name field to 20 from 255. In one of the later lessons, I think you said it was no longer necessary to do that, that now Access keeps the database size down without reducing the field sizes. But I wasn't sure, and I thought I should double check with you before I start creating my database. Yes, in fact, I remember in some of my older classes, I, I've said this a lot, that you should keep your text sizes small enough to hold the largest bit of data. and back in the 90s when I started programming with Access, that was important. Not only were hard drives incredibly small, so disk space was at a premium, right? I, used to, I started off with a 20 megabyte hard drive when I was working with Access, that's tiny. But Access worked like a lot of older databases worked by reserving the number of characters for each field, whether you used it or not. So if you specified, let's say this example here, 14 characters for a first name field, and most of your first names were only, you know, five to nine, let's say. Well, that's wasted space for each record. And you multiply that times a certain number of records, times a certain number of tables in your databases, times how many fields. That's a lot of it, wasted space. And this is how older databases used to work. And that's how I was taught. That's when I was learning how to build databases. That's how it worked. Records like this, each field had a fixed width, and it, that's how much space it took, kind of like text files. Remember those old fixed width text files? Well, fortunately, in recent versions of Access, that's no longer the case. Access will now reduce the amount of space that is used to store each record to the number of characters. Basically, it's one byte per character in your text fields, plus a little bit of overhead for each record. Kind of like a little header, a little bit of information, almost like a pointer if you know any programming terminology. So if you leave your first name field at 255 characters, which is the max for a short text field, that's okay. It's not going to really hurt your database that much. In fact, recently I built a database just to test this. I wanted to test how efficient access stored text information and I wanted to check and see how efficient compacting and repairing is. Now I'm putting together a whole different video on compact and repair, but as far as text field efficiency goes, you can see a million records with a one character in the field, whether it's a max of one or a max of 255, it took up the same amount of information. So Access doesn't care what that max is set to anymore. You can see 10 characters took up 23 megabytes, a full 255 took up 273. So it is consistently based on the amount of data that's in that field and not the maximum size of that field. And this is something I've been teaching in my classes since the 90s, so I need to rethink the way I do things. That's how I came up when I learned databases to you know keep those file sizes small. You wanna make sure that you're only storing 15 characters for your first name if your longest first name is ever gonna be 12 characters. So you don't waste all that extra space. So moving forward, I've gotta change that. I like to do the research now, now that I'm a lot more experienced with Access instead of just going what I read in books or going by you know what I was taught. I like to you know tear Access apart, figure this out, and this is the, the results of my hours and hours of, of experimentation. So Joel, I hope that answers your question. Go ahead and use 255 characters if you want. The only major reason I can see making that smaller for is if you want to limit that data entry in the database. So for example, if you want to force your users to only enter two digits, two characters for a state field, for example, or five characters for a zip code, or six if you're in Canada, right? Or a certain length for the social security number or a VIN number on a car. If you know it's going to always be that long and you want to limit it, then that's a reason why you could still use a smaller text size. But aside from that, go to town. If you want to use 255, use 255. Now, members, I wasn't kidding when I said I spent a lot of time on this. And you know what? I recorded all of it for you. 
I first sat down and I was just going to say, let's just build a database and test and see how the how the text works and if the compacting is efficient and all that. Well, yeah, I I went crazy. So I built two different databases. One that you can see on the right there, the little blue guy, uh, that just adds the records, right? How many records do you want to add? What's the length of each record? And go, and it'll just put a million records in the database using a record set. There, I'll add that to the bullet list. Record sets, those are those are pretty cool. But then I built another database to analyze the results from the first database. So basically, you, you set the first database up to run a loop, all right? It will start with a thousand records at one character. It'll open up the other database, make it run, wait for it to close, read the results in. I'll show you how to use a sleep function, wait for the database to exit, compact it with VBA, because the first database compacts the second one, because I don't want to affect the results. How to read and write text files, because we use a little text file for the settings to pass information back and forth. How to get file sizes, delete and rename files. It's three hours long. I'm preparing it now, but it's related to this video, so I just wanted to mention it at the end. So that's for members, extended cut. It'll be posted soon. How do you become a member? If you want to learn more about compact and repair and all that crazy stuff I just mentioned, <laughs> click on the join button and uh, you'll be uh, given access to all of my extended cut videos. If you're a silver member and up, you'll see all the options there when you click on the button. But don't worry, my tech help videos will always be free and there'll be lots more coming. Make sure you like and share this video. Click on the subscribe button and ring the bell if you want to get notifications every time I release a new lesson. If you have not yet tried my free three hour long beginner access level one video, then now is the time to go take it. But ignore if I mentioned in that video, I have to go back and look now and see if I mentioned in that one that uh, you want to keep your file size as small by keeping short text fields smaller. I think I probably did because I've been teaching it the same way for 26 years now. So this is a uh, eye opening for me. And of course, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar and that's free for members also. Want to see your question answered in a video like this one? Well, go to my tech help page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Keep learning.